We actually got something. We got something. We got something on the bait casting rod. Woo! What is up everyone? We're playing Fishing Simulator today. Can't you tell? Can't you tell we're playing Fishing Simulator today? We've got Bjorn here. It's rainy outside. It's rainy outside. Say hi Bjorn. Say hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> Anywho, we're uh, we're fishing. We're at Rocky Lake right now, but I don't want to stay here. I really don't. Um, <laughs> the thing about it, oh, gosh dang it, this always happens to me. The thing about it is that, um, is it even worth it? It isn't worth it. It isn't worth it. We're leaving. Rocky Lake was so much fun. If you're a new player, give it a try, um, because the trout are voracious. There's a ton of them. You can get a ton of trout. Um, it's it's a lot of fun to catch those trout. And then, um, yeah, they give decent money too. 140 to $200. Uh, dollars. You can see the durability of all my stuff here. It's, uh, it's slowly making its way down. But nothing's at like 50%. So I'm not worried about it for the moment. Ended up making 7,600 from the trip. Not amazing, but you know, it's something. I do want to look at something else today. I want to find something new. Something new to fish for. Rainbow trout again. Rock bass. Smallmouth bass. Okay, okay, I'm taking note. I'm taking note. We got flathead catfish here. Oh my god, I don't think we have enough. I don't think my gear is good enough for that just yet. Long no gar would be kind of fun to catch though. Shads and crankbaits, okay. Largemouth bass are here as well. We've got a carp too, an American shad. Red, white, and blue over that thing. Um, okay, cool. Well, trying to decide, trying to decide. What kind of lures do we have? We, have I unlocked anything here? 21, we'll get our first jerk bait right on. Hey, we actually did get our first, uh, our first popper. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. Huh, mm, uh, what should we do? Should we get both of them? I'm not sure. I feel like a half ounce might be too heavy for my pull right now. Let's see. Yeah, sure enough, two fifth ounce. Okay, so my pole's not even strong enough to uh, carry that. Let's see what kind of uh, tools and equipment we can get. Cause I know we can upgrade some of our tools and equipment. Look at that. We got the wild element vests. Here in three levels, we get the V case, which will allow us to carry five rods and reels. Goodness gracious. Or we can carry four rods and reels right now for 5,000. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Upgraded that, now we can carry eight more tackles than we used to be able to carry, so that's nice. I think it would be nice to have another bass rod though. And I'm almost thinking that a nice uh, nice casting rod would be nice to get. That seems pretty good actually. This, this seems like a pretty good pull. We got a nice new pull, the Jester, seven foot. Uh, we need at least five pound line weight on there, but that shouldn't be that bad at all. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do the Fantastic Four. That will allow us to carry two bass rods, which I think is going to be important. Good looking rod there. We do have 16,000 left though, and uh, I am wanting to get a casting reel. I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards this attorney right now. Let's keep looking. There is this attorney. Got a different recovery. I'm not sure what the recovery is though. This one's got more drag on it. Um, this one's got less drag. Costs $900 less and has more ball bearings and a better ratio. I'm leaning towards this one. At least anything, it'll get us started. It'll get us started anyway, okay? So we have a Texas rig going on. I'm not really sure. I can't put any of my regular hooks on it, evidently. So I must need a specific hook type. Okay, so here's offset hooks. Let's see here. We got number one hooks, number two hooks, all the way up to number four aught hooks. Let's go ahead and get this one, I guess. The number two, that'll be the biggest hook I have right now, so that'll be interesting. All right, now we can equip uh, shads and grubs and stuff like that. That'll be pretty neat, I guess. I was kind of hoping I would be able to throw lures with this, but I guess not. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Well. 
I feel bad, but now that I got this bait caster, I kind of want to go try it on largemouth bass. And the cheapest place to do that will be Mudwater River. Maybe. Let's see. What do we use? Worms, crayfish, newts, crankbaits, poppers. I have all my lightweight trout fishing spinners and stuff in here. Maybe what we should do to get more money back is go catch walleye, but will walleye go after? I think they will. I think walleye will go after uh, shads and whatnot. Worms, grubs, and narrow spoons. Okay. Can't even get a- can't even buy a worm till another level. Alright! I think we have- I think we have quite a bit. Enough to give it a try, anyway. We're gonna go to, um... Oh, golly. I think we should go here. I think this is a good bet. Let's go back to Emerald Lake and try to catch some walleye and get back our money. Because <laughs> we're running out of money. We just bought a whole new setup and everything. So we're going we're gonna to need some money. Goodness gracious. It's so dark outside. It's raining. You have to understand it's raining. Fishing for walleye. I'm really excited to give this baitcaster a try. I really am. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to uh, fish with this grub, though, is the problem. Um, I'm not really sure. I guess we'll just toss it out here and see. I'm assuming I need to bounce it off the bottom. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, well that time I bounced it off the bottom. Let's just toss one out of there and see. We'll just reel it in quick. Quick like. Hmm. Not sure what's going on with my guy's arm. <clears throat> Every time he does that. Well, we'll get. I know that there's not a lot of fish jumping right now, but. Man, not even getting anything on this. I think I'm. Well, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and change the time. See if that does anything. Because it is. It is really not a good time to fish right now. So let's change it to six. Now should be a little better time to go fishing. Let's just try the narrow spoon again. We'll probably get the uh, the old um, bait out there with the minnows as well to uh, continue catching. Give us another chance to catch more of those walleye. Well, if we're not going to catch anything on this either, then we might as well throw out the other the other rod. Goodness gracious. There, there will be a time to get back to that baitcaster. Got you. Got you. Dude. Goodness, he's fighting. He's fighting. <laughs> we got ourselves a walleye here. Get in here. First catch of the day. Trophy walleye. Let's go. Oh, my golly. Oh, my golly. There we go. There we go, right? It always works out that way. You're thinking, oh my god, level 21! Let's go! Oh my golly. Oh my golly, I'll just keep saying that. We unlocked all the worms that I couldn't buy a little bit ago. Um, got the new tackle box, got some other new stuff. Right on, level 21. We're getting into the 20s, which is when you start getting a lot of the lures and whatnot, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little confused why I wasn't allowed to uh, to put, like, a, you know, a, a crankbait or something on this bait casting rod. That was a little strange, but maybe I just don't know something at the moment. Reeling this one in quick. Another walleye, $240. That'll work. So that is interesting there. So if you try to, if you have the line clipped, and you try to uh, throw it out further than that, then it will just stop at, at that point. So that is interesting. That's good to know. It really is. I might be casting too short when I do this, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. Would be interesting to uh, throw uh, whatever northern pike like to cat, you know, eat. Maybe we get some good northern pike. Let's see here. Northern pike. They like shads, spinner baits, crank baits, poppers, jerk baits, and minnows. Gosh dang. This is gonna be a constant thing. They are loving this small minnows. Hmm, another little walleye. Very nice. Still $250 though. Alright, so we put a shad on this, and uh, northern pike prefer to stay in heavy cover waiting to ambush its unsuspecting page. So maybe we should cast over here. 
Oh! What are we- what the frick? We got something right at the very end! He's pulling. This isn't the best bay casting rod. I kind of regret some of the things I bought. But what do we get? We got a freaking walleye. Three hundred and fifty dollar walleye, like six feet from the dock. Holy crap! <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, well, we're still trying to catch pike with this thing, but that was a nice surprise. First catch with the bait caster, freaking walleye. I feel like I should just pull this shad in straight, but not a lot of stuff seemed to be going for it. Today is not our day with the bait casting rod. We're gonna have to learn more about it, I think. There's gotta be a way to use lures on it. Seems like a big oversight if there isn't. We got a chain pickerel. I love the look of chain pickerel. I think they're beautiful fish. It's not going anywhere. It's just coming straight towards me. But he's not liking it. Just manhandled this walleye. Three hundred fifty dollars, though. Thought we'd try, you know, reeling it in a bit faster this time. See if that entices anything. Ah! Oh, struck too soon there. Something was starting to take it, and I was f freaking out about it. There we go. Got a good size one in this one. Maybe. Maybe not. Yep. $361. Not bad. Not bad at all right there. Well, at least we got another bite <laughs> on the other pole. The baitcaster's not catching us any fish. We might as well catch fish on the other pole. There we go. A $300 walleye. Oh! We got something! Get in here! Oh my god. I'm so happy to actually catch something with the baitcaster. Another walleye! I don't even think the walleyes are supposed to, you know, go after these. The walleye are supposed to go worms, grubs, and narrow spoons. There's nothing about shads oh well if they like that let's throw on the grub again to see maybe I've been playing it off the bottom but maybe the trick is we just need to pull it in straight I don't know all right let's go I am eager to give this baitcaster a try now that we put the uh, the lure back on that they like maybe we'll have better luck I don't know Okay, I thought I did a good job reeling that in. Every time I use one of these artificial lures, I'm usually disappointed with what ends up happening. There we go. About halfway. About halfway. Oh, you know what? This twin tail spider grub is only one inch long. I'm just realizing that. Hmm. Oh, we got something there. Don't know what the frick is, is though. A little crappie. No, it's a young northern pike. The one fish we've been trying to catch this whole time. Goodness gracious, on the freaking shads. And now we caught one on this little casting spoon. <sighs> Frustration. Frustration. Let's take another look here. Northern Pike. Casting spoons, spinner baits, shads, crank baits, poppers, jerk baits, and minnows. Uh, hum. Okay, so I did learn something here, and this isn't gonna be great. Let's see how how this isn't too bad, actually. So basically, I was using the Texas rig. And that was messing with uh, my ability to use lures. But I could have totally used lures the entire time. What we could do, I guess, if we're just trying to catch more... I was trying to catch a northern pike. Um, or just really anything. But what we could do is we could put on the narrow spoon and try to catch more walleye with the baitcaster. That might be... That might be a good choice. At least we're catching some with this freaking... The minnows never let you down, that is for sure. $390 ain't bad whatsoever. Oh! 
Oh, come on. He he was taking it. He was taking it. It might be a bad time to be fishing right now. It's it's not bad. It's in the half area at the moment. <sighs> and we're still catching tons of freaking things on the minnows. All right. Well, I mean, it's such a love-hate relationship. <laughs> with this freaking rod. I want to be casting out, but instead, I have to come over here and reel this in 115 feet. It's gotta decide what it is. 435, I knew it. Feels like a good fish. I bet this is also a 400 plus walleye. Gosh dang, only 343? Sure fought. Get in here. Get in here. Freaking monster trophy walleye. $609. Let's go. Yes. Yes. That's what we needed. We need something like that, but to happen on the other freaking line. Goodness gracious. He know you happy about your fish? It's a pretty decent sized walleye. You know what I mean? Alright, let's throw it back out. We still got, uh, basically 20 more pounds of fish to catch. They're really just not going for the artificial stuff today, I guess. I'm not really sure what their deal is. There we go! Finally catch a fish. Goodness gracious. Looks like a pickerel of some sort. A chain picker roll. All right. Well, that's better than freaking nothing. Goodness gracious. Snagged into something. A crayfish. What? Look at the crayfish. <laughs> that is hilarious. We've caught a turtle and a crayfish now. Beautiful. He's a beautiful crayfish. We cast into these uh, weeds over there, and we caught a crayfish. Oh, did you not see it? He took it like freaking 10 feet to the side. Gah! Gah! Ridiculous! Got him! Let's go, we caught a fish, gosh. Chain picker roll, let's go. Peak fishing time, seven o'clock. Let's go. Okay, seven o'clock, still cloudy. Let's go catch some fish. It's a small bite. Not a lot of drag on that one. Walleye, just dragging him in. $370, $307, excuse me. We got 53 pounds of fish, pretty much. Bjorn's not happy about it, though. He thinks we could be doing better. I agree, bud. I agree. I was really hoping that we could do a number with this bait casting rod, but evidently not. But maybe they're biting on it now. Why are you always catching fish? Huh? Why are you catching fish all the time? Trophy walleye! Let's go! $546. I'm more excited about the $546 than the trophy walleye aspect, actually. Come on, walleye. Go after the spoon. Do it. Go after the spoon. Ooh! We actually got something! We got something! We got something on the bait casting rod! Ooh! Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy right now! We finally caught something! <laughs> Get it in! Get it in! On the green narrow spoon! Walleye! Woo woo! We got you! Yes! I'm so happy right now. Oh, I could kiss you. I could kiss you, you fish. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you still going? I can't tell. Yep, you're still going. I'm guessing. 385. 395. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's pulling us 435. <laughs> it's a walleye too. Oh, it's a walleye. Oh, I can tell. I can tell. 
Oh, I can tell by the way it's swimming through the water there. That's a walleye. Get it, get in here, you walleye. Get in here, you walleye. Do, do, get over. There we go. What did I say? Did I say 435? <laughs> I hope I did. I hope I did. <laughs> that is awesome. 400. 400 there. We only need one more walleye. Well, you know what? Challenge mode. Challenge mode. We're doing it. We're catching it on the bait caster. Let's go. Challenge mode. Last fish needs to be on the bait caster. Challenge. Challenge. Let's go. You have no idea. Because this is only going to be a, a yay long video. I've been fishing. I've been playing this game this morning for an hour and 40 minutes. And this is all I've gotten done. Oh god, this challenge. We caught that last one so easy, I thought this would be fine. You know, I kind of wonder if the whole artificial lure versus, um, you know, live bait thing is all about that little thermometer thing next to the cloud there. I wonder if that has something to do with the fish not really wanting to move very much, but they'll slowly go, go towards some, like, stinky minnow or something like that. Get it! Let's go! We got one! We got it with the baitcaster! Oh, he's pulling us! He's pulling us away! <laughs> Let's go! Last walleye of the trip. Freaking $321. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. All right. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. An hour and 45 minutes later, we finally caught our 66 pounds of fish. And I'm a happy guy. I paid for two days to kind of get some more money back. But I think the second day I'll just do it on my own. That way, maybe we can go some more fun on the second, on the, uh, on the next video. And maybe I'll get some new lures or something like that so that our baitcaster does better. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? I don't know. I'll have to watch some videos. See what other people are doing with it. But uh, I appreciate all of you watching, especially if you made it this far into the video. Um, yeah. Take care, everyone. Uh, stay safe. And as always, keep gaming. Never stop.